and welcome back to On the Record. You know, we're ranting and we're, we're raving, and, and you know, it, it sort of upsets me, and, this, and it's, it upsets the community, and I'm sure that it upsets you probably more because what you had to go through in the last couple of months, um, or the last couple of years, actually. Nine years. To, you know, to get to where we are today, and, and you know, you still, you, regardless, small council will say it wasn't fair for them, you're going to say it wasn't fair for you. <clears throat> but I think, and I've said this a number of times, that, you know, we don't have the transparency in, in our in our court system, and, and that's why we're in, you know, you ended up where you did, and so did everybody else in this community that ends up going against small council because they stack the deck on, on their side, and, and you can't do that regardless. Um, regardless of whether you're living in this community or any other community, there still have there's still laws. They still laws you have to follow, not the Mohawk law always. If we're going to do that, then yeah, let's take the the memo the letter from from Kenneth Deere and say yeah, well then let's go to traditional government and, and let's fall underneath that and let's do that. And, and you've made that statement about um, well then maybe we should go back to traditional government. Some of the things that are council saying about flying the two flags, and everything. I mean, I'm not I'm not one side or the other. I'm, I'm talking about in the middle because. You know, I'm not. I don't follow anything right now, so I don't need just my wife around. I have no choice. But other than that, what do we do? You know, and, and now they're 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 trying to get this media mediation going, which I know it's we need it. They're trying to get the court act, uh, the justice act done. I know we need it, but but how do where do we go? Well, I mean, because at, at the end of the day, the end of the day, no matter what they're going to do. We're going to be in the same situation we are tomorrow as we have been in the last 20, 30 years, regardless of what they make decisions. And, and, and they can say that's not true, but it is. They say we're going to lobby the government. They've been lobbying the government for 30 some 40 years on on laws and justice. I, I'm, I'm part of that. I was part of that for so long. And I know how frustrating it is for everybody, If you, whether you're in the system as a... Um, as a as a job, or you're in there because you got caught doing something, but you know what I mean. It's it's a tough situation. I don't know how we're going to get out of it. And I, and, and rushing into a justice act today is not going to change what's going to happen it's not tomorrow. A cure. It's, it's not, not going to change what happens because everybody has to follow it, and, and they're not going to. Yeah, and it shows it. Where they're not going to follow it. Some people will, others won't. They're going to say, I don't recognize that, and that's it. I'm not doing it. Well, the band council has been getting away with impersonation of the Mohawk Nation for far too long. I said it before, Mike Mitchell passed himself off as the Grand Chief of the Iroquois and Joe Norton was passing himself off as the Grand Chief of the Mohawk Nation. I told them to straighten that out. They didn't. I went up to the podium and I straightened out. I said, there's no such animal in any zoo that resembles a Grand Chief of the Iroquois or of the Mohawk Nation. Joe Norton and Mike Mitchell, boom, they disappeared like a fart in the wind out the door. Well, the mandate was to return to traditional government. No if, ands, or buts, no form. That wasn't the language of the day. Nobody was talking form. They said, go back. Go back. We have to go back to our roots. That's where everything comes from here is our collectivity. Right now, the individual is killing the collectivity. Our treaty rights, nobody seems to know what in the hell they are. Nobody seems to know how to legitimize the bank council when they weren't even in existence representing the claim of the so-called scenery Lake St. Louis. They were nowhere in existence. Joe Norton at that time says, through the rule of succession. I said, that's good, you got three longhouses. Now, when I go to court, I got uh, Jean Palmerville sitting across from me a non-native, maybe a very well-educated lawyer, maybe in his own rights a, a good man, saying Mohawk Law, Mohawk Law. I, get me a copy of this Mohawk Law so I can see it. I know. And he says, well, you know, he says, it's the great law of peace. It's all oral. What? Hey, whatever, I, I, whatever we, de we deem I it's going to be. I almost uh, crap myself there I know. because I never knew this. How about the people? Now, if the longhouses know these words, <laughs> that the bank council is impersonating them, they're trying to misrepresent the treaties. They're trying to put themselves in as those representatives. So 
If you want to know who's killing our rights, it's multifaceted. The bank council, the employees who don't want to say anything, the people that do the elections, carry out, go and cast your ballot, what are you voting for? You know, I don't see all those people there, nor does everybody have an opportunity to say clearly what their credential. You got young kids in there right now that don't know whether they're coming or going. I'm right. trying to be as respectful <laughs> as possible here. But the harsh reality you, you is, were in that what system. in the hell have they done? What have they accomplished? So one is uh, gets on the radio and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I've been out there all my life defending our rights, including today. I don't have to be on that council to be out there defending rights and so on. I just do it. People bring their concerns to me and I address those issues. I don't have to be on council for that. But what is killing us, they're trying to tell us that the cyanide is healthy for us. Now, you the people have to decide how long is this garbage going to continue?